Hello friends, welcome to Billion Babai. Let us examine the effect of budget on banking sector. It is overall very good uh, for the banking sector. And in case you are interested in uh, the entire banking sector and you are not clear about which banks to support or which banks will gain more or which banks will gain less. My advice would be that all the small investors should go in for exchange traded funds. Now what are exchange traded funds? Exchange traded funds are those fun mutual funds units which can be purchased and sold on the stock exchange as if you are doing shares. That means immediate credit of the amount will come to you. You don't have to wait and search for the bank uh, mutual fund office or mutual fund uh, advisor. And then on the stock exchange online, you can buy, you can sell and it will be at one tenth of the price or one hundredth of the price of an entire index. So it will be within your amounts, within your limits to purchase. Okay, go for bank index uh, exchange traded funds and that will give you as good a return as the bank index gives completely because that's exactly mirrored on an exchange traded banking index. Next item for the banks is that they have been uh, given an infusion of 10,000 crores. It is on top of all the, uh, let's say about 50 to 60,000 crores it have been uh, put in in the last 4-5 years. So banks are comfortably placed. Now what is their CRAR? The comfortable placement will be reflected in their CRAR. Their CRAR from 11.2% has now come to 12.1% as against the uh, regulatory minimum of 9.1%. So then the, that way we are uh, comfortably placed 3% above some banks maybe having lesser amount but it doesn't really matter because the banking as an industry as a whole is going to be helped. Now next, what are the good things that are happening for banks? First, boost of 10,000 crore capital. Second, the low cost deposits which have come in in almost hordes in hundreds of thousands of crores because of the demonetization. Then the boost to credit offtake. Now what are the items that are coming to boost the credit offtake? First thing is that you will have more disposable income in the hands of lower income groups in urban and rural areas. So this is good for small uh, cap uh, cars, small cost cars and then the, uh, all the two wheelers because the two wheeler, our industrial revolution has come on two wheels. So all the two wheeler companies like uh, Honda or Hero Motors or even TVS, it's good for them and it is good for all the small cap cars, small cost cars like Maruti Suzuki and Hyundai and uh, you know even uh, this uh, Quid, Renault Quid and things like that. Okay. So that uh, the more spending will be there. There will be more spending towards FMCG goods, durable goods, white goods and uh, all the companies which are giving white goods like Samsung, LG and uh, say there's uh, uh, dishwashers and then washing machines. They will have a chance to percolate into the newer areas like the lower households, lower income households in urban areas and then the rural areas also. Okay. Then you will have what else you have? You have more... Uh, let's say affordable housing, infrastructure spending, these are the two things, railways have got 1.3 trillion infrastructure spending and then roadways have got 64 billion uh, and then uh, infrastructure spending and the general infrastructure spending is about 649 billion and all these things which are good for cement sector, steel sector are also good for banks because this credit offtake will uh, be more. Affordable housing is a very very good for uh, banking because Everybody who is going in for affordable housing will definitely come to a bank because of its uh, credit worthiness. If banks are opening their doors to all the small people who will ask for a house. In my own personal experience, banks are the last people to give you a loan uh, when you are, uh, are not completely urbanized or you don't have uh, want to buy a house in a, a say a urban setting or a urban uh, land or a flat. If you say I want to buy a plot in a, say a village area or a GP area or a small town, one layer, first layer, second layer, third layer town, then banks will be the last person to come. So it is also good for NBFCs like Devan Housing Finance and others which are willing to lend uh, to the smaller uh, income uh, households in uh, smaller towns. So let the bankers uh, open up their eyes to the prospect of retail loans in the housing sector in uh, the smaller areas. Now what are the uh, banks which will be uh, benefited? Let us see the category by category. SBI and SBI group, SBI, SBH, SBT, SBM, they will be the good ones. Then in nationalized banks, Bank of Baroda, Canada Bank, Oriental Bank of Commerce, they will be good ones. In all private sector banks, it will be Federal Bank, Lakshmi Vilas Bank and uh, South Indian Bank. 
Then in the new private sector banks, it will be Yes Bank and Kotak Mahindra Bank. Okay. Then uh, if you have, again remember, if you are short on money, but you want to get the benefit of the budget in the stock market, go to exchange traded funds. Thanks for looking at, uh, observing.